I just sold my first app that I built using Replit, which is crazy because I'm not a computer scientist, not a developer, I'm a marketing guy. Uh, so I'm gonna walk through step by step how I built it and how I found someone to sell it to. So if that sounds interesting, uh, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Um, and yeah, let's let's get to it. Uh, so really quick, uh, shout out Amjad at Replit. Uh, I just kind of tweeted that I was excited about the app and he seemed to like it and he was pumped. Um, so he said, why don't you make a tutorial? And so that's what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, let's just dive right into it. Um, Replit is an AI coding uh, assistant and a, an IDE uh, where you can you know write code. Um, so basically how it works is when you start a new Replit, uh, you describe the app that you want and uh, with words and, and it builds it. Um, you can also pick through uh, different kinds of stacks. Like, you know, if you like a certain stack, um, do that. But I never do. And it just uses React usually. Um, and, you know, I tell it to use Shad CN for the front end. Um, so anyways, here's what the app looks like that I sold. I sold it for $750, by the way. So it's not like, you know, I'm not retiring, but it's a good start for my first app. And I'll be able to charge the guy um, monthly for, you know, keeping it up and, you know, maybe adding features down the line. Um, so it's a really good potential recurring revenue stream if you're able to sell apps to people uh, and, and charge them for, for maintenance um, or new features. Um, so this is the app. It's a, it's a KPI tracking app for Cartex, um, some mechanics. Um, and what they do is they go in and they can put in, you know, how many cars did you work on this week? What was your revenue? And what was your profit? Um, and then they would submit that report and they can visualize their data here. Um, it's super simple, but there's you know hundreds and thousands of business owners in the world who need apps like this, um, and don't want to pay like an outrageous amount for uh, some SaaS some SaaS app that's not catered to them. Um, and this I sold this to a guy who um, mentors and sells like a course to car mechanics. So when he logs in, he has this master view where he can see everyone's progress and check on how they're doing um, and see how many of his courses they've completed. Um, so let's get right into how to build it. Uh, I said I was going to teach you how to build the app and how to find someone to sell it to, um, but <laughs> those are backwards. Uh, you, you need to find someone to sell it to first and then build the app. That's my advice. Um, it's just way easier. You can get all the requirements, exactly what you need. Uh, to make and you there's no question of like marketing who just and finding a buyer um so let me just show you that real quick um i saw this job posting on upwork which is like a freelancer job site um and he was asking for an air table and softer um expert to make a kpi tracking dashboard um if you don't know uh, air table is just like a, a fancy excel where you can like store data it's like a database um, and then because it's $20 a, a month per user, if you have lots of users, um, then it gets kind of expensive. So you'd use something like Softer, um, which I'm not going to show because like, I don't want to knock them and this isn't what the video is about. But it's basically a custom front end for Airtable, but it's another you know 170 bucks a month. So all in what this guy was asking for um, was a, an app that will cost him 200 bucks a month in software. Um, isn't super visually pleasing, which was like his number one ask. Uh, and so what I did was uh, I wrote a proposal to him. We hopped on a call and then I made him a demo of exactly what he asked for, Airtable and Softer. And then I made uh, in a demo of the same app using Replit. Uh, and he liked the Replit one better because it's prettier um, and it was is catered exactly towards his use case. It's not like one size fits all software. So that's what's cool about Replit. Um, so next, I'm going to show you really quick uh, how I built this in Replit. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I have the first chat um, that I used to start the app. Um, but maybe we can just try doing it live really quick. Um, what I do is, let's see where Notion is. Um, basically list all the screens you need, uh, like KPI dashboard, KPI uh, record submission form uh, report. And then off um, here, we would put, what did I say? Car count, revenue, profit, and we need admin and you 
producer. Um, and then what I would do is just go into chat GPT and say, I'm building an app for car mechanics to record their weekly KPIs. It needs Objects. objects are like variables. I don't even know if I'm like referring to that correctly. Please write a design brief that I can give to my AI coding assistant to build this app. Um, we need to add more color. Okay, so we're going to put that into chat GPT. Brain dump. That's the first step brain dump exactly what you're going to build. If it's an Upwork job, you can take like what they put in Upwork and dump it into here. Um, and so like that could be a strategy to get you jobs, spend like a couple dollars making a quick MVP of an app. And then you could just screen record it and send it in the proposal. Like, Hey, I built an MVP of the app you want. And they would hire you because you're ahead of all the people using, you know, chat GPT written responses. One important thing is rewrite it to not be a, opinionated about the stack it uses you should Replit will choose the best stack for the job um, so I wouldn't yeah I wouldn't be opinionated when you write this brief the only thing I would say is the exception is to use shad CN components for UI I, I think Replit does this by default um, but that's just it's really easy to use for a react front end um, it looks clean one tip is if this is your first time doing it, build it without authentication, because you'll see in a second how Replit works is it'll build something and then it'll kind of test it really quick uh, by running it itself and taking like a screenshot of what the screen looks like. And it has trouble doing that uh, if you build it with authentication because it doesn't know to log in and then take a screenshot, right? Stuff. So I'm going to say start building. So you can just paste and go. So now we're going to be in the talking to the agent. Okay. So it's going to come back with a proposal. Uh, anytime you write a new feature, it goes through this process. Um, it'll build an initial prototype. And then you look in here, it has Shad CN, which is cool. Um, and it'll ask you for additional features. Um, usually it won't build these out until it's done with the prototype. It'll say, okay, I'm done with prototype. Do you want me to proceed to the additional feature? Um, I, I tend not to click these because they're, they, they're usually nice stuff, but then you just kind of get feature creep and you're building too much stuff and it'll, you need to keep the AI focused. So I'm just going to click approve plan and start. It's going to be funny to see how this is different from the original app. So we're building. So that was crazy. This is Replit building all the pages like so quickly. Um, I'm not even a, a good enough coder to know what that is. There's the main app file. I know that it's building that the authentication page. All right, next is building the dashboard. Um, a little like Replit tour. You can see the file tree here um, as it's building. Um, so if you know anything about coding, like. This will look familiar to you. Uh, the main things you're probably going to be looking at are uh, pages here um, that you can edit. Uh, don't if you're using a component library like Shad CN, you shouldn't mess uh, with the components because they're like boilerplate. Um, you should change like their styling on page. That's my advice. Um, and then the main app file uh, just pretty much like connects all the pages. It's going to automatically do tailwind and everything for you, which is great. Because then you don't have to manage packages on your computer, which is so annoying. Uh, so I would add a database here, store user data, create a database for you. Yep. You can click on the uh, PSQL logo here and you can see your database. Um, super cool. You can, yeah, you can like add rows and edit stuff in here, which is super cool. You can just like make different users. Let's get to where we can test this. Okay, so we're gonna, I don't know, John Doe. And then make a password, create an account. 
let's not do that. It's looking super similar. It's what I am. Where'd we go? Oh, did I change tabs? Oops. Expected string received number. Uh, so you would give the agent something back like that. Um, I kind of broke a rule here by saying also we need to do da da da. Um, you should generally just make edits one at a time so it doesn't get confused. Uh, the other thing you can do is go into, if you like know there's a problem with something in a file, like if you you know about coding, you can go in here and click modify with assistant. I believe if you do it that way, Replit charges you like less per message because it's like a more focused, you're just fixing code in one app. Um, so that's something to try. Uh, look at him doing work. So he imported a package so that we can visualize the date picker. And see now it's doing the same thing. So let's make a new one. When I try to submit KPIs on slash submit, I get this error below revenue. So we're trying a new agent. It's like hanging up the phone and calling a new person to, to troubleshoot. See how it's gonna ask us to approve a new plan. Okay, some of these things might be useful. That's nice. Anyway, uh, we're, we're running into these problems because I rushed really quick writing my brief into chat GPT um, to have them generate like a cohesive brief to put into Replit. Um, I would brain dump, I would absolutely brain dump, write as many words down as you can or record them with your voice and transcribe, put them in a chat GPT, ask chat GPT, Hey, are there any like things that are unclear or any gaps in my brief? Um, ask me and, and I'll answer them, make the brief better. Okay. We submitted the data. It's not showing in the dashboard. Okay, so we're gonna stop here. Uh, the agent um, can kind of see everything in your repository and like understand how it works together. Um, so it's like a you know a big brain engineer. And then shoot the assistant you use for one offs, like I was saying earlier, like um, you know change this variable name, change this like color in the front end. So if you're editing like one page, you would use the assistant. Agent is for features. Um, I just want to emphasize like the workflow should be like new agent for every feature, beware of feature creep. And if you start hitting a wall, make a new agent. Um, you, if you want to do everything right, like perfect, like do exactly what I did at the beginning for every single feature and write down what screens you need, what is going to be on the screen and what, um, what like variables and objects it's going to use. Um, and how are those calculated? How should they be displayed? Like you see here. Um, total revenue doesn't have commas in it. So, uh, I would go to admin dash to total revenue. Make sure total revenue has commas in the thousand in the thousands places. It should know what that means. Boom. All right. See there, it fixed it. Uh, so finally, when you're finished with your app and you think it's looking good, go to deployments. Uh, I've already deployed this one, but it basically just puts it on its own uh, generated URL, which is cool. Um, so I'm going to go on our test project that we did, even though it's like not finished, I would just do their default. You don't need anything crazy for like a simple CRUD app. I would do their default and then, uh, approve. You don't need to change anything here. And then you can click deploy and you could do a private deployment. If you don't want this to be public. I think you need Replit Pro. Um, I pay the 25 bucks a month for Replit Pro. <coughs> um, 
but you can get started without that. Uh, you get it, you get a certain amount of like free messages per month and free compute uh, once you deploy an app, which is sick. And then if you were to go into settings here, uh, you would just add your own custom domain, which I haven't done with my app yet. Um, but you can also, what's it doing right now? Yeah, you can also shut down your deployment here. It's like, it's so easy. Um, and you can go to usage here and see how much you've spent on uh, using the AI. So I spent about $11 building that, which is pretty good. Turned in 750. So that's Replit. It's really cool. Uh, I, I highly recommend it. If you're going to try out Replit, please use my referral code. I'm going to drop it in the description. Uh, I'll probably do more tutorials like this. I'm trying to make 52 apps this year. That's my goal. I think I made three or four. Uh, and I'm trying to document them all and share. I figure if I make 52 bad apps, like one of them will be good by accident. And I actually think this one is already a good app. So we're way ahead of schedule. Uh, thanks for watching. Please uh, share this if you found it was useful. Uh, comment if you hate my voice or what you want me to help with. Uh, maybe we do more Replit challenges. This was super sick. Peace.